I'm here with Frank Smith. It's April 2014. Welcome, Frank. Thank you, Tim. It's a pleasure to be here. With yeah. You. And he's, we're at living. We're talking freely. This is Frank's new work. It's on the walls that we speak. And Frank, tell me a little bit about how you evolve in um, the quilting process and how you have created these wonderful images that we see in back of us. Well, it, interestingly enough, I, I never thought about it at the time, mm -hmm. but um, my mother was an artist. Okay. Uh, not, not in the sense of having studied art in school, but my, my mother, uh, I always remember her sewing. She sewed with a machine or hand stitched. Uh, and one of, one of the things she did profusely was crocheting. Okay. And uh, I have, I have my, my, my mother and father are deceased, but uh, they're not dead to me, you know. Right. Because I have so many memories and act, actual things, uh, uh, material things, mm -hmm. that have, have uh, they'll always be with me, you know. I, I, I share them. Yes. I, um, but my mother did a, a lot of crochet work. Okay. And I have little fragments of, of some of her crochet pieces. And I, I will deconstruct, take take a piece of crocheted work, mm -hmm. and deconstruct it, and some of them will show up in some of these pieces. That's what I thought. That's what and, I thought. And and likewise, uh, I, I I I'm staying with my mother-in-law while I'm here, and I have. Taking things out. She's an artist as well. Okay. She has two daughters, and both of them are artists. Okay. One, one is my wife, and her sister. Yes. Uh, but I, 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 I'm looking at, at that piece there, and I see a piece of fabric mm -hmm. in in that piece that I took off of a curtain that was in her window, and deconstructed. And reconstructed in, into these forms that I have. Would you would you would you say that deconstruction and reconstruction is um, your particular style? I mean, is it something that you always are thinking about as you move forward and collect these items? As I know you're a collector, I know you just pick up things and all of a sudden they mean something. And of course, going back in time, would you say that that's your? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. And. and um, I recycle. You recycle. I, I don't. I don't throw things away. Absolutely. Uh, uh, I, I will do a painting that I don't like. Rather than throw it away, I may cut it up. Right. And and, and uh, then that becomes material for for, for uh, other works. You know. So it may a pieces of pieces of the work that I cut up. Mm -hmm. may show up in two or three other people's right. things because I don't throw it away. It's, yeah. it's, uh, uh, it's everything life. means something. It's life. You just have to figure out where it goes and what it's going to do. Yes, it is life. So I was intrigued with this piece because you have started to use handbags or these handles. I think the title was Get a Handle on It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which you can see. I remember that. Yeah. And is there any significance with the handles, the leather I see that you see? And it's this uh Well though again that that is those things my mother in law gave me that bag. Okay. And because she sees what I'm doing. <laughs> she says, I've been saving these things for you. I love that. I love that. And I said, Yeah. Thank I you. Definitely thank you very much, you know. But uh and I and I've I've gotten it, I used found things okay. for a while. Then I, 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 I've 
gotten into the habit of shopping, I'll, I'll go to uh, a store <laughs> where they have quilt squares. Right. And I, I, I select them. Mm -hmm. I see something in them. I, I have to like what I see. But they find their way into the work. And then, uh, and I also have uh, found certain things that I'll use over and over again, like okay. the, the polka dot. If I see a piece of dotted fabric that uh, yeah, polka grabs polka. me, uh -huh. I'll, I'll purchase that fabric and, and use those elements. Uh, if you look at that one, mm -hmm. that's a piece that came out of out of one. Right. This is another. There's several in this. Yeah, you know? I see the polka dots. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all over the place. Uh, so I, I use that, and then I'm using, also using uh, transparent fabrics that you can see through and get a modulation from the color that's painted underneath it. Like you see that over there in the blue. Right. Occur, right. Occurring over and over again. So, and, and actually, if I, if I, if I, I'll, I'll title this piece, get a handle on it. Mm -hmm. But it's full of these different fragments of things that have been recycled right. and laid out in a interchanging grid. Um, I don't want to be pinned in a rectangle. Right. right. Uh, I know all your work is outside. I mean, like these are very free flowing. Pieces. Outside the lines. Outside the lines, outside and the and lines. they're meant to hang on the wall. They're meant to be free. They're meant to breathe, and they're meant to actually expand. The wall itself. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I would like someone who owns it to feel free to, to turn it around or shape it like a diamond if they like.